Okay, here we are in a fresh boot of a Monopics again, and in this video what we're going to do is demonstrate running the same code that was written under Monopics, running that same code under Windows. So the first thing that I'm going to do is open up my development shell and start Mono Develop. And I'm going to pause the video while I do that. Rest assured though that the project operation is exactly the same. So the first thing I'll do is Mono develop. I'll pause the video while that starts up and I will create the Hello World application. We'll be right back. Okay, Mono Develop is open now, so we'll go ahead and pull that back over to where I can get at it. Pull this over to where I need it. Hello, there we go. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and simply create the exact same Hello World application that I've created before. I'm going to pause the video while I get that created. Okay, here's our Hello World application. I'll hit F8 to make sure that it, it will build as it always has and should for you as well. Once it builds, I'll go ahead and run that application under Monopics just to make sure that it really runs like we think it should. Alright, here we are with one succeeded, zero failed. As usual, I like to go to a second desktop, open up a new shell, and execute the application there to test it. So, I'll pause the video while my terminal opens and I navigate into the appropriate directory structure. Alright, as you can see, I've navigated into Mono Develop Projects, Hello World, Bin, and Debug. From here, I can say Mono, Hello World, Dot exe, and we get our hello world just like we have before. The difference in this video, however, is that we're going to show this code running on Windows. In order to do that, what we need to do is make the code accessible through Windows. Monopics gives us a very handy way of doing that through the services menu. Come down here and say start Samba server. By starting the Samba server, that'll allow us to access our Monopics code through Windows Explorer. When we start it up, the first question it'll do is it'll ask for some security information. So I'll pause while Samba Server starts. Alright, as you can see, the user is going to be Nopix, and it's asking for a password. Well, I'm not going to set any password at all, so I'll hit OK. It'll ask me to confirm the password that I've entered. Again, I have no password, so I hit OK. Finally, it asks us if we want to share all of the uh, devices and share points that we have. And I will go ahead and do that so that we can see everything, and that just makes life easier for everybody. Export all hard drives so they can be mounted, written, and uh, read, and written from. Yes. All right. So at this point, our Monopics server or machine should be available through uh, through Windows. I'm running Windows XP uh, Home Edition, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and open up my network places. I'll be right back after I have that open. All right, here's my network places, and you can see that I already have my Monopics server information here. However, if I did not, I could go over to View Workgroup Computers, and the Nopix server shows right up there. If you're prompted for user ID and password information, just recall that the user is Nopix and their I set no password. If you set a password, well, that's up to you then. Here's our Nopix directory, and you can see right here that we have our Mono Develop Projects folder. When we double click on that, we'll see our Hello World folder. Of course, within there, we'll see the bin and debug folders as well as all the source code. And finally, we will have our executable. Unlike the Mono installation where we actually had to run Mono and then pass hello world.exe as an executable, in the Windows world, we can simply execute that hello world.exe by double clicking it. Because we didn't add any kind of pause at the end of the application, you can see that it flashes up, gives us our hello world quickly, and then the window disappears as the application ends. If we were to uh, 
drag that application off onto the desktop and run it from a command prompt, or if we had modified the application such that there were a pause at the end, then of course it would behave in a little more user-friendly manner. Nevertheless, this, this demonstration shows that uh, the code that we wrote under Mono works perfectly well under Windows. And actually, just in case the application didn't seem to work like we expected it to, what I've done is I've dragged this Hello World up to my desktop, which creates a copy of it, of course. And now I will simply run my command prompt, CMD. And what I'll do is I'll execute it here. So I'll say CD desktop, and then finally, Hello World. And there we go. Finally, you can see that it actually does run Hello World. So this is a demonstration that the code we wrote runs the same under Monopics as it does Windows.